Hi, my name's Colin Walls and today I'm going to talk about networking software for embedded systems. Well actually I'm going to talk about software of IP in general because it's quite a broad topic but networking software is a good model. I'll start out by saying something which is a bit of an admission. I am not a networking expert. I know quite a lot about lots of different aspects of embedded software but networking is not something which I have really concentrated on specifically. If I take a look at the long list of protocols supported by Nucleus, for example, I can look at all those abbreviations and all those letters, and I know what some of them do, I know how some of them work, but the whole list, is a, uh, when you look at all of them, is a bit disconcerting. Fortunately, I have colleagues in the company who do understand all this kind of stuff, so I don't need to worry about it. However, I got to think about this and I thought, well, maybe I could write a TCP IP stack. It can't be that hard. After all, I can write C code. I've been doing that for years. I know a bit about networking. I can read a few books on TCP IP and in no time at all, I'd have a TCP IP stack. Question is, when I completed it, would you buy it from me? Um, yeah, thought not. I wouldn't buy it from me either. I gave the clue at the beginning. I said I'm not a networking expert, so therefore I'm not the ideal person to buy a TCP IP stack from. However, how do you decide where to make that purchase? Do you just listen to people who say they're experts and think, oh yeah, well, I believe them, they're saying they're an expert? No, that's not the way to make the, the, the decision. There's one word you need to look for. Validation. Networking protocols are pretty complex, but they are 100% testable. There are only so many combinations of messages and so forth that can be constructed, and therefore it's entirely possible to completely test the protocol suite if you've implemented one and you want to market it. This is not true of things like compilers, which can be tested thoroughly, but not 100%. You could write your own test suite for a protocol, but that would probably be rather foolish, as there are a number of standard ones on the market. Amongst the ones that we use in Metagraphics are Anvil, Tahi, and Silver Creek. There are others around as well. These test uh, suites are extremely expensive. If somebody is using one, it shows their commitment to networking software. So there's the question you need to ask. If you're considering buying some networking software from any embedded software supplier, simply ask the question, what validation suites do they use? and listen carefully to the answer. And if you don't get a good answer, go and ask somebody else. These general guidelines apply, apply to all kinds of software IP, and modern embedded systems tend to be built constructing uh, a number of components from different vendors. So look for validation, don't just take the supplier's word for it. Unless it happens to be me, of course, in which case you can believe everything I tell you. See you next time. Bye for now.